honoring the men and women who've served our nation. A thousand thanks from KLBK and Interim Healthcare. Welcome back. The Texas South Plains Honor Flight is just hours away from their annual trip to Washington, D.C., taking 84 veterans from the Lone Star State. Yeah, KBK's Rache Day caught up with the team headed off for their departure. The Texas South Plains Honor Flight is just hours away from their annual flight to Washington, D.C., taking in total 84 veterans from our Lone Star State. And the best part is the trip is free to all the veterans, thanks to local and regional donations. The cost of the trip is right at a quarter of a million dollars. We charter a jet, we charter three buses, we stay at a Hilton there in Alexandria, Virginia. So all the money is donated. It's a three-day trip for veterans to not only see the memorials in D.C., but also to lay wreaths for fallen soldiers and walk the floor of Congress. It's memorable for the vets, but also for their loved ones and friends. You and I don't understand the things they did, but when they get up there with their comrades and stuff that did the same things, They'll start telling stories and family members go, I've never heard any of these stories. And that's true, they haven't. But for one World War II vet, on his honor flight, he laid a wreath for a fallen comrade. But little did he know it would be the last thing he would do. He was pretty sick, so we, we called the ambulance and we took him to the hospital. So I stayed with him for 13 hours in the ER that day. And this gentleman was in World War II and he was on the USS Indianapolis. This was the ship that took the H-bomb over to for to bomb Hiroshima and they were in radio silence so nobody knew that they were there or when they left or where they were going and it's the one that got uh, torpedoed by the Japanese sub and sunk and then all those guys were stuck in the water but so a bunch of the guys got eaten by sharks well this gentleman was on that ship I mean you just can't imagine the things these guys go through. The veteran suffered a heart attack and passed away while in D.C., but it's stories like these that show how all of our veterans give, but there are some that give all. And that's what we wanted to know is that we do appreciate what they did and what they gave so that we can do the things that we're doing today. You know, we have a saying in Honor Flight, if you can read what we're showing you, then you need to thank a teacher. But because you're reading it in English, you need to thank a veteran. 